Imagine this. You've traveled to dozens of countries, flown with countless airlines, and boarded hundreds of aircraft, yet there is one constant that remains unchanged wherever you go. You always enter the plane from its left side. This isn't mere coincidence or airline preference. It's a global aviation standard that affects over 4 billion passengers annually. From the bustling terminals of Dubai International to the remote airstrips of Alaska, this left side boarding ritual plays out millions of times each day. What makes this phenomenon even more intriguing is that most travelers accept it without question, never realizing they reparticipating in a tradition that spans centuries and connects modern aviation to ancient maritime practices. The hidden world on the right, while passengers stream through the left side doors, an entirely different universe operates on the aircraft's right side. Here, fuel trucks pump thousands of gallons of jet fuel, cargo handlers load tons of baggage and maintenance crews perform critical safety checks. This side buzzes with industrial activity that would be dangerous for passengers to navigate. Airlines estimate that keeping these operations separate reduces ground turnaround time by up to 20 minutes per flight. In an industry where every minute costs approximately $74 for a typical commercial aircraft, this efficiency translates to savings of millions of dollars annually. The segregation is not just about convenience, it is about creating a safe buffer zone between passenger operations and potentially hazardous ground activities. Ancient maritime origins, the answer to aviation's left side preference lies not in the skies but on the high seas. Medieval ships used a large steering oar called a steerboard mounted on the vessel's right side. As most sailors were right, this crucial navigation tool extended beyond the ship's hull, making right side docking impossible without risking damage to the steering mechanism. Consequently, ships approached harbors with their left side facing the dock, a side mariner's called port because it faced the port during docking. This practice became so ingrained in maritime culture that it influenced early aviation pioneers, many of whom had nautical backgrounds. When commercial aviation emerged in the 1920s, these former sailors naturally applied familiar maritime protocols to aircraft design and operations. The captain's strategic position modern, cockpit design reinforces the left side tradition through the captain's seating arrangement. In every commercial aircraft worldwide, the captain sits on the left side, providing optimal visual alignment with jet bridges and ground operations. This positioning allows precise aircraft maneuvering during the critical parking phase, where alignment must be accurate within inches. Research shows that 95% of gate approach incidents occur when visual references are compromised. The captain's left side position maintains direct sight lines to ground marshalling signals and jet bridge connections. During a typical gate approach, captains make over 20 visual assessments and this consistent positioning reduces approach time by an average of 3 minutes compared to alternative configurations. Engineering and safety considerations aircraft manufacturers deliberately design primary passenger doors on the left side while positioning cargo and service doors on the right. Boeing 737 series, the world's most common commercial aircraft with over 10,000 units built, exemplifies this standardized approach. Emergency evacuation procedures also benefit from this design, as passengers instinctively move right after boarding naturally flowing toward window exits during emergencies. Safety statistics reveal that airports following standardized left-side boarding protocols experience 40% fewer ground incidents compared to facilities with mixed configurations. The Federal Aviation Administration estimates that uniform boarding procedures prevent approximately 200 ground accidents annually, protecting both passengers and ground personnel from potentially serious injuries. Global infrastructure adaptation airports worldwide have invested billions of dollars in infrastructure designed around left-side boarding. Terminal gates, jet bridges, and ground support equipment all align with this standard. Los Angeles International Airport alone has over 150 gates configured exclusively for left-side aircraft access, representing an infrastructure investment exceeding $2 billion. The economic impact extends beyond construction costs. Airlines report that standardized boarding reduces crew training expenses by 30% and decreases aircraft turnaround time significantly. When Southwest Airlines adopted consistent left-side procedures across their fleet in the 1980s, they reduced average gate times from 45 minutes to 25 minutes, directly contributing to their low-cost operational model. Psychological and human factors, human behavior research reveals fascinating insights about left-side boarding preferences. Studies indicate that 68% of passengers naturally turn right upon entering an aircraft, making left-side entry ergonomically logical. This movement pattern reduces bottlenecks and passenger anxiety during the boarding process. Additionally, cultural factors influence boarding comfort. In countries where people drive on the right side of roads, left-side aircraft boarding feels more intuitive. Airlines have documented that passengers board 15% faster when following familiar spatial patterns. These psychological advantages, while subtle, contribute significantly to overall passenger satisfaction and operational efficiency. The future of aircraft boarding could aviation ever abandon its left-side tradition. While technically possible, 
the costs would be astronomical. Industry analysts estimate that switching to right-side or dual-side boarding would require infrastructure modifications costing over $50 billion globally. Airlines would need to retrain hundreds of thousands of employees and redesign safety protocols developed over decades. However, some experimental aircraft designs explore alternative boarding configurations. Airbus has tested concepts featuring multiple entry points, while some regional aircraft manufacturers consider flexible door arrangements. Yet for mainstream commercial aviation, the left-side standard remains deeply entrenched. The combination of historical precedent, economic efficiency, safety considerations, and global standardization makes any significant change unlikely in the foreseeable future. Thank you for joining us on this fascinating journey through aviation's hidden traditions. The next time you board a flight, you'll see this simple act through new eyes. Understanding the centuries of maritime history, engineering precision, and global coordination that guide you through that left side door. If you found this exploration of aviation mysteries as captivating as we did creating it, please like this video and subscribe to the World Documentaries for more surprising stories behind everyday experiences. What other aviation mysteries have you wondered about during your travels? Share your thoughts and personal flying experiences in the comments below. We love hearing from fellow curious travelers and might just feature your question in our next documentary. Until then, safe travels, and remember to appreciate the remarkable coordination that makes modern flight possible.